Please, everyone, keep close. I don't want anyone being injured or killed. Stay close to me so that I can protect you. <laughs> hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, here we are. The moment of truth to enter the Oblivion Gate. I've decided to change up the squad a little bit. Tassius, you're here because this is your village that we protected. I think it's good that they see you. And even though your name is showing as El Valley, Catry, this was your plan, to seize the Sigil Stone, so you know the most about Oblivion Gates. So that's why you're here. But I must say, aren't you a bit underdressed for being a Vigilant of Stendar? Look at this attire. Where's your uniform? Yes, I've got my eye on you. And you, Zavok who's most at home in oblivion. All right, the three of you, let's move out. And I'm not sure why this Dramora is here, standing guard perhaps, but he apparently is not hostile. All right, let's go. Uh, home at last. Let's kill something. Ugh. Even the air is foul. Let's get this stone and get out. Let's get this over with. Yes, I'll say. Not many who venture into oblivion live to tell the tale. Well, hopefully we'll be able to tell plenty of them. Let's go. I'm going to do armed combat. I don't know if my master spells might harm the rest of you. Hmm. It's not a real door. It's a ruse. Let's keep moving. What? Stendar has no mercy for the likes of you. I do not fear death. <laughs> that could have been worse. None escape the vigil. Oh, have a nice day. Put your head. Frozen time. Hunting bow of Inbuzz. All right, I think I have enough Daedra hearts to last a lifetime. Storm armor. I think I tried that and it displeased me. Zavok, I know that's not you on your knees. Hmm. I could say kneel before me, but you're already doing it. <laughs> All right, well, perhaps you need a little help. There you are. Greetings, master. Okay then, now that we're all feeling better, I believe it's this way? Or is this the way we came? You know, someone's going to have to help me. My sense of direction is not the best. All right, I think this is the way. When look, someone's up there. Let's hurry along. 
and bleed something. So much fun. All right, everyone here? Good. Let's keep going. All right. Looks like there's a bridge that we have to get on. That hopefully will get us across. All right. Here's another door. <laughs> another false door. All right, come on. You know, Tassius, I need to get you a weapon. I know I said that before. I'm really get him! In the With the rest of them, I thought there'd be more. There are. I have but one choice. We shoot. Look at this, this lever, it's barely visible. Never would have known. All right, come on. Magic against them, master. That's all you've got. Well, that's you, Zavok. Where are they? the armor and I can't take it. Wild mushroom? <laughs> All right, no. I, that would be good for an alchemist. <laughs> Another almost invisible lever. Let's go. Red Catry, don't lag behind. All right, I'm going to have to train myself not to be fooled by these doors. All right, something's up here. Wolf 
clear. There we are. <laughs> I tell you, these enchanted weapons are so powerful. All right, you two, don't lag behind. Veil of Nature surrounds the caster with natural energy that affects nearby enemies, decreasing their poison resistance. Huh. going. Seems like we're going out of our way, but this appears to be the only way we could go. This way. You all of you feel that rush of excitement? <laughs> There's nothing like going up against a Daedric Prince and his minions. Is that someone in the distance? It is. The hell you are, wait to... Did you see their terror master? Priceless. <laughs> Indeed. Death Guard summons a Death Guard. Well, it's all right. This is certainly a circuitous path that we're taking. Oh, here we are. Before me, you are nothing. Excellent. Oh, I'm sorry. I. Next time, I'll leave some for you. All right. I'm sure you're curious. As am I as to how easily I can dispatch these Daedra. It's time for me to unlock my powers. Level up. <laughs> I think I'll take more health. Now, I believe it's here in the Conjuration. Mystic Binding. Soul Raider. Rind from this world, here it is. Bound weapons banish conjured Daedra. Turn reanimated undead and deal 100 extra damage to non conjured Daedra. <laughs> that is how I do it. I might have. What is this? Hollow Binding reduces magic resistance by an additional 30% if I control a summon Daedra. 
don't know about that. What's this brand of the necromancer? Brand a corpse by striking it with a bound weapon or by delivering the killing blow with a bound weapon attack. The brand grants 25% attack damage and 100 points of health when reanimated or resurrected, undead, and automatons cannot be branded. Hmm. Okay. Eh. I don't know I'm powerful enough now as it is. Perhaps later. This is only the beginning. <laughs> Well, what new devilry is this? Yes, and there's no Dagon hidden seems lever. to have enhanced his security of late. Curses! The seeing stones have blocked our path, Master. No weapon we possess can break this magic. I don't see another path. Unless Dagon has a sudden change of hearts, our quest has failed. Well, what? Dagon has seen us, and he still allows passage. We have cause to be uneasy. Advance with caution. I don't know why Dagon let up his defenses, but I doubt he has our best interest in mind. The Seeing Stones would not give way without a reason. Make no mistake, Lord Dagon wants us to progress. Very well, then. Progress we shall. And I guess these are the seeing stones you're talking about? These glowing eyes? Hmm. All right, well. This is certainly exciting. Ooh. <laughs> Please, everyone, keep close. I don't want anyone being injured or killed. Stay close to me so that I can protect you. <laughs> no, I haven't felt this powerful in such a long time. But unfortunately, I'm having to restrain myself in rein in my master spells for fear of hurting you. Oh, here's another. It's up to I you. Will shower in your take, take the next one. Luck. before us, Master. Catri? All right, come on. And here it is, the Sigil Stone. Wait, the way back? That's not supposed to happen. I'm what beginning to take notice of a significant flaw in the plan. I believe you may have overlooked a keen flaw, Master. Fool, did you think I would craft these portals in the same fashion they were before? Without an operational sigil stone, you are trapped here, permanently. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Looks like we have to put it back. Go, underlings. 
Welcome our guests in a manner befitting my name. Yes! Bring it, you glorified pincushions! We'll purge your entire realm! We won't last long against the full might of this realm. Let's make for the exit. Let's make for the portal before it closes again. All right. Oh. So be it. There they are. Wait, where's Catry? Catry, come on. Let's go. Keep going. Keep them busy. Let's go. There's a second one. All right. I'm about to leave. I... I don't understand. That should have worked. Well, for some reason, I think Maroon's Dagon expected us to remove the sigil stone. Dagon must have revised his magic so the same defect could not be exploited. So what does this mean? This means everything we know on these gates is outdated material. This complicates the escape effort greatly. This isn't the same gate that we entered from. I noticed. Though as it stands, I cannot pretend to know why. I will need time to study these anomalies. Wait a minute. This is the Warden's Chamber. An Oblivion Gate, of course. As a servant of Dagon, we should have expected no less. Let's get out of here. We need to get back to the ship and regroup. Looks like getting off this island is going to be a little, little bit more complicated than we first imagined. What? My apologies, mortals. The master has departed this lair. What master? The warden of this coast is my lord. Of course he is. He requests an audience with you in the crypts of the first settlers. And what does he want with us there? I was not told. The master will reveal all when the hour is proper. And that's it? There was one other thing. He requested you bring along someone by the name of Ariel, I believe. I assume that name is familiar to you. <laughs> it is. Good. He'll be expecting both of you. All right, well, that was a dramatic exit. Okay, it's time for us to go and rest up after that ordeal, although it was fun. Ah, 
broad daylight. I've missed it. I suppose we should go and check on your village, Tassius. See if that oblivion gate is still there. We can sleep later, it's still daylight. Just left. All right, there's that one man here. Let's do another notice board. A corporal atronach. Hmm. See if we can find it this way. I'm curious, though, what the warden would want with Ariel. Very interesting indeed. Is this Atronaut going to be in the same spot as the uh, Drake? Do you see anything? Look, there's something up there. I can't see anything with all this foliage. How are we supposed to attack it? And apparently I'm not meant to climb this tree. how I had to kill it. That was exhilarating. Oh, listen to you, it was exhilarating. And what did you do to contribute to its demise? All right, let's go back and get our reward. Atronach had anything on it, I'm not going to be able to retrieve it. All right. 750 more seashells. I'm probably very wealthy when it comes to shells now. I think there's one other thing we need to do before we talk to Iriel.
And that would be to get more information on this reaping. You know, I wonder, should we leave this bear? Is That's a, a pet bear, I take it, Tassius. Is it yours? <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so find information on how to counter the reaping. Since we're not getting any help from the warden, I think we're going to have to take matters into our own hands. Hmm. I think Katri was right that we can't be trusted and he's not going to help us get off this island. Here, this cave. Perhaps I should wait for the others to catch up. Right, here you all are. Let's go inside. Who are you? Maybe if you were to what? Play that voice. Ah, are you all here. right? Right. Ingvar also go left. Silly, stupid intruder. Go away. Let Ingvar focus! Alright then, you go ahead and focus. And what have we got here? Are these meals? Why does they hate Ingvar? Ingvar good? Ingvar honest? Well, Ingvar good at least. Oh, why? Telling for a while. Hmm, there's a chest here. Soul Gym. Necklace of Coalescence. Recharges weapons. Eight points per second up to the charge level the weapon had when it was equipped. Right, we'll take those. And it looks like there's a book over here that is beckoning to me. Counter the reaping. The book contains recipes for equipment that can be crafted with the workbench at the SS deficit. Now, does this include how to fix the ship? Prude bows, armor, weapons, cover, catapults, barricades. Nothing for fixing the ship. Hm. All right. It looks like it's a book of recipes on how to defend the island from Dagon and his forces, which I'm not interested in. <laughs> All right, then we'll return to my ship, our ship, and talk to Ariel. All right, we're back. Um, do I need to talk to you, anybody before we go inside? Something my in your mind. My lord, I know it isn't my place, but can I ask you something? Go ahead. I thought of a way to take vengeance on the one who stole my future. All I ask is that you unsummon me. Well, I'm not sure how to unsummon you, since I didn't summon you to begin with. Hmm, that is problematic. Perhaps the Blue Hack can offer some assistance. If anyone in your company knows how to unsummon Daedra, it must be her. The Blue Hag. So, you're talking about Katri? But, Master, her name is so uninspiring. <laughs> I think my epithet perfectly encapsulates her lack of personality. If anything, she should praise me for the accuracy. All right, very well. 
but what makes you think that she'll help you? She is, after all, a vigilant of Stendar. She has two unbroken kneecaps, master. That is an excellent opportunity for persuasion. Hmm, I'm not so sure I agree. Alright, but I'll talk to her. Thank you, master. Cassius? Yes? There's something on your mind. I've got my hands on the potion. We can what begin potion? whenever you're ready. Begin what? What potion? You don't remember. Uh, we're putting your mind in a state of torpor so you may contact Lady Vermina. Oh, I don't remember. At all. All right, then. Let's do it. Here's the potion. Consume it whenever you're ready. Alright, thank you. And you, El Valley. Shall we get moving? Is something on your mind? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. I just. Something about this place reminds me of home. I see. But this looks nothing like Skyrim. My home, Dover. I wasn't born in Skyrim. So how does it remind you of home? It's not important. We should remain focused on the here and now. I have time. Speak your mind. Well, I suppose little harm could come of it. I was raised on a coastline with a similar complexion. I'd almost forgotten how thunderously the ocean crashes against rock and seaboard. Or how statically melodic the chirps of seagulls are. Or the brisk, cool wind, and how gently it brushes against one's skin as they stare placidly into an infinite blue abyss. <laughs> well, some people pay for an experience like this. None of them grew up in such a place. The glamour associated with the tropics was penned by excursionists, not natives. This environment brings back a lot of memories, most of which I'd rather soon forget. Any good memories? I'm afraid the good ones are so deeply intertwined with the bad that they've become corrupted as well. How difficult it is to recall a moment of bliss without also remembering the way it was stolen away. Well, good things never last. That's why we appreciate them. Uh, that's the proper way of looking at it, I suppose. I wish I could maintain that kind of optimism. Surely, there must be something you remember fondly. Well, now that you mention it, there is one event from my childhood I can look back on with contentment. Don't suppose you'd be open to hearing it? Well, as I've said before, I've got time. Well, on the beach where I grew up, there was a sectioned off portion where the wealthy individuals and their children would swim. My friend and I, we used to fish off a distant dirt cliff just beside it. One day, she caught this monster of a fish. Took the two of us half an hour to drag the thing up. When we finally managed it, we saw the teeth, rows upon rows of them. Didn't know it at the time, but we were standing face to face with a fully grown slaughterfish. Hmm. What happened next? She freaks out and screams, and this fish just starts squirming erratically, like a Thalmor Justitia observing Talos worship. <laughs> it manages to get away from us, throwing itself from the cliff's edge and hitting every rock shelf on the way down. So there it falls, just off the shore where the wealthy is swimming. For a moment, we thought it was dead. Then, without warning, it starts wriggling towards them. So, naturally, my friend starts trying to reason with it, right? She calls out, No, not that way, you live over here! 
But of course, it's down there just tossing her advice to the wind. I suggest warning the nobles, but we both know they're not going to listen to a couple of peasant children. There's a brief spell of silence, a single screech, and all-out chaos. They see it and emit screams louder than a banshee passing a series of kidney stones. I'd never tried so hard to conceal my laughter before or... <laughs> any day since. Hmm. Well, I see that has a lot of meaning for you. A lot of memories are stirred up. Pleasant ones. So what happened to this friend of yours? Decades later, I took an interest in magic and inducted her as my apprentice. From then on, we became more than just friends. Then she... I'm sorry, I've rambled long enough. We've got better things to do. Hmm. Very well, then. Is something else on your mind? Nothing I'd like to talk about. All right, then. About Zavok. I thought I heard my name come up while you two were talking. What did he say about me? Some baseless slander, no doubt? I need a spell to unsummon him. As much as I'm tempted to jump at the opportunity, why? It will help him. <laughs> I can't tell if that's an attempt at humor or a display of senseless optimism. Either way, I'm impressed. What makes you think I'll help him? He's returning to Oblivion to kill a Daedric Kynval. Hmm. As much as I dislike aiding the Daedra, if it's to kill one of their own, then who am I to stand in the way? Here's the spell tome. How do I use it? It won't work on just any Daedra. You'll need to bind your pet to it first. For that, you'll need my expertise. Whenever you're ready to perform this custom, let me know. Well, why don't we do it now? This will only take a second. Are you ready, demon? Finally! Feels like I've been kept waiting for centuries, you lethargic witch. Oh, Ooh. is that so? I think I might actually enjoy this. Why? Is it going to hurt? Not at all, but you might experience some slight pressure. Good. I perform exceptionally under pressure. You spit a dialect of lies, you second-rate magician! <laughs> Must have been the wrong spell. Now let's try that again. You're being a little petty, aren't you? That's the one. There, you're all set. How are you feeling? There is no word in here that oh, or the mortal tongue for your pettiness. You're <laughs> welcome. All right, now what? Am I supposed to use my spell? Why have we stopped? Are you ready? I am most eager to get this underway. It's just... Is something wrong? What will I say when I kill him? I need something cheap and melodramatic before I drive my battle axe into his tender, frail cartilage, shattering his bones to a fine powder. The problem is, words have never been my area of expertise. Hmm. I find that hard to believe. <laughs> Well, tell him that your name is Zavok, and that you stole your promotion. Prepare to die. Hmm, yes. My name is Zavok. You stole my promotion. Prepare to die. He already knows my name, but that will just add to the confusion. 
He will die a miserable and perplexed death. <laughs> Brilliant! I think I'm prepared to confront that traitorous disgrace now. Or whenever you're able to release me. And how long will you be there? No more than two hours, Master. After that, you may summon me back. All right, then. I'm ready. Excellent, Master. I await my return home with great anticipation. All right, let's see if I can figure out how to do this. All right, stand ready. I suppose we can have Roland. Well, maybe let's have Ariel. That way I won't have to go inside. All right, he's gone. And you're here. Ariel. I've got your back. The Warden wants you and I to meet with him. Why'd he ask for me? How does he even know who I am? I was hoping you could tell me. I have no history with that demented hermit. <laughs> He's been confined to this island his entire life. Wait, doesn't he communicate with you telepathically while you sleep or something? He may have learned it that way. Hmm. All right then, well, we'll answer the warden's invitation. Together. Good. I suspect the warden's invitation, whether he knows it or not, will be like the warm breeze that begets an avalanche. If you have any unfinished business on the island, I'd suggest we complete it before meeting with him. Oh, well, there's so much unfinished business. Um, Very well. Dova? Something wrong? You don't look so well. B what's happened? What is going on? Ariel? What is this? This is the... the lab of that person. Am I dream walking? What is this? I've got your back. What? What happened? Where am I? Wait, where's Ariel? Tassius? You stopped. Yes? Catri. Is this a dream? I don't understand what's happened. Wait, I, I think I hear Ariel. Someone's out there running. Yes, isn't that... There's someone down there. I think it's Ariel. Well, who knows what that was all about. <laughs> 